The Ka Adabu or Majorca Mastiff is a medium to large sized Malashan type breed of dog with a strong, powerful, elongated build. The difference between the sexes is in the head, the circumference is greater in males than in females. Ka Adibu are personable and serious Malashans who can make a lasting impression. Only a few people guess, under the powerful dimensions of the dog, the character of a good natured big man is hidden. These animals are non aggressive towards strangers, with tenderness towards children, with patience towards pets. At the same time, the Circa Dibu makes great bodyguards. Despite their fighting past, dogs tend to assess the situation soberly before attacking an enemy. A properly raised molasses is difficult to provoke, but if it still gets a hold of rage, the dog will turn into a time bomb. The offender is unlikely to be able to emerge victorious from an unequal battle with such a hardy animal. Highlights The Mallorcan Mastiff is a unique breed, a formidable appearance bizarrely combined with a kind heart and docile disposition. Ka Dibu are not inclined to highlight their favorites and show tenderness towards each member of the family, no matter how numerous it may be. The phlegmatic character of the dog helps her to come to terms with the forced loneliness, she just goes to bed while waiting for the owner. Thanks to their excellent watchdog qualities, the representatives of the breed easily cope with the duties of a guard. Ka Dibu love the company of children. They treat pets with no less condescension. Majorcan Mastiffs need a strong and responsible leader who is able to properly organize the processes of education and training. Contrary to common misconception, these Malashans are very active and mobile, therefore they require long walks. Ka Dibu is not suitable for beginner breeders. History of the Circuit Dibu Breed The history of the origin of the Spanish Malashans dates back to the first half of the 13th century, when the Aragonese King Jaime I the Conqueror defeated the Almohad Moors. They were forced to liberate the Balearic Archipelago, a huge territory that included 15 islands, 4 large and 11 small in size. On the largest piece of land, the Kingdom of Mallorca, Mallorca, was founded, which became an Aragonese vassal. According to the generally accepted theory, it was here that the first ancestors of the Circa de Bu appeared, the Malashan dogs, brought by the Aragonese, and later, by the inhabitants of other states. Possible progenitors of the breed include the Spanish Mastiffs and Bulldogs, Dogo de Bordeaux, Perennian Mastiffs and English Bulldogs. Among the potential ancestors of Malashans, Mastiffs were also mentioned, brought to the Balearics by the army of Jamie I. Uncontrolled mating led to the emergence of new dogs of the guard fighting type. They were named Circa de Bestier. Dog handlers often compare this name with the word beast, rogue, rogue, but this judgment is erroneous. Translated from the Catalan language cod a bestier means a dog that drives cattle. In addition to the main function, the animal successfully coped with the protection of port warehouses and residential premises. The physical qualities of these dogs were highly valued by local aristocrats who used Malashans to hunt wild boars, bears and other big game. Despite the fact that the dogs differed from each other in size and hardly stood out in one breed, their popularity did not diminish. At the beginning of the 18th century, it acquired a more cruel meaning. The Treaty of Utrecht, signed in 1713, ended a major European conflict, the War of the Spanish Succession. The Balearic Islands became a British colony. The British shared their leisure ideas with the locals. Then he was famous for cruelty and meant participation in an underground sweepstakes during dog fights and baiting large animals. The inhabitants of Mallorca adopted the bloody experience of the British, and by the end of the 18th century, the brutal performances had grown into a fanatical love of bullfighting. Unlike the modern show, which consists in the battle of a bullfighter and a bull, the original version was very dangerous and therefore revered by the Spaniards. So, an unarmed person went into the arena to an angry animal, accompanied by a dog, from which one thing was required, to protect the owner at the cost of his own life. The Mallorcan Malashans were unsuitable for bloody entertainment. They died of wounds in the first minutes of the bullfighter severely injured the bull, making the show less spectacular. So the need arose for breeding dogs for baiting. Old English bulldogs would be ideal participants in bloody performances, if not for their angry and uncontrollable nature. To create a balanced breed, the Spaniards crossed bulldogs with cod a bestier dogs. The selection resulted in animals that closely resembled modern Mallorcan Malashans. They were used as four-legged gladiators until the middle of the 20th century, first in bull baiting and after it was banned in 1883 in dog fights. The first representatives of the breed were subjected to cruel selection. During problem childbirth, bitches most often died without receiving help from the owner. Weakened puppies were not nursed, and strong and healthy ones were not protected from viral diseases. The Spaniards did not bother themselves with raising pets, this task was completely assigned to the bitch, which instilled in the puppies the skills of socialization. Aggressive or cowardly dogs were killed. 
Malashans, who were seriously injured in battles, were not left alive. Such a radical approach has led to natural consequences. On the one hand, modern representatives of the breed are famous for their good health, remarkable strength and calm character, the gene pool has lost its negative qualities over time. On the other hand, the Spaniards' irresponsibility and careless attitude towards dogs threatened their continued existence. So, by the beginning of the 20th century, the number of pickling Malashans was limited to several dozen. In addition to fighting pits, animals were still used in a few livestock farms. The versatility of dogs has become the main reason why Spanish breeders are thinking about increasing their numbers. The breeding program, as before, included mating of the circuit de bestier, mainly brindle, and Old English bulldogs. This time, the breeders paid attention to the exterior of the animals. The small size indicated the dominance of the English genes, and the impressive size indicated a close relationship with the Malashan shepherds. Medium-sized specimens, which were quite rare, were suitable material for breeding. Despite this, the breeding work bore decent results. In 1923, the Mallorcan Malashans were entered in the register of the Studbook of Spain as a circuit de Bou. The name of the breed appeared at the beginning of the century, when the president of the Bordeaux Dogs Club spoke of the animals as quite promising participants in the persecution. In 1929, a representative of the new breed first appeared at an exhibition in Barcelona. A year after the end of World War II, the Circa de Boo standard was developed, but the registration of Majorcan dogs by the FCI organization took place only in 1964. First, the Lyric breeders were still interested in the physical characteristics of Malashans, so animals with full compliance with the standard were quite rare. Secondly, in the 20th century, other breeds were at the peak of popularity, the German Shepherd and Great Dane, as well as the Rottweiler. Dog breeders showed interest in Circa de Boo after the 80s. At the same time, the majority of fans of Malarkan Malashans lived in Poland and Russia, for example, in Moscow by 1990, more than 2,000 Circa de Boo were registered. In other European countries, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, breeders of these dogs were much less common. In the USA and Canada, the popularity of Malashans was negligible. A similar situation is observed now, Circa de Boo are found mainly in Europe. Appearance According to the FCI standard, this dog should be a medium-sized, typical Molosser with a slightly rectangular build. It is strong and powerful, with a deep and wide chest and a somewhat slimmer croup. The skin is thick and somewhat loose, but must not form folds, except for a minor one on the throat. The head is powerfully built and in males, the circumference of the skull should exceed the height of the dog. They have strong jaws with a very mild underbite and widely spaced canines. The tail is set low, thick and is carried in a slight arch when the dog is moving. Height and weight is for males 55-58 cm and 35-38 kg, for females 52-55 cm and 30-34 kg. It is a rather medium-sized dog, but can because of its mass, appear larger than it really is. The colors are fawn, light brown, often in deep tones, brindle, and black, often with tan markings. White markings are permitted, but must not exceed 30% of the full coat of the dog. The size, shape and temperament varies greatly between lines. In Central Europe, a far stockier dog with a shorter, slightly wrinkled face is more common. While in Spain, Scandinavia and other countries, the original, taller, leaner and more functional dog is most common. Popular colors of Circa de Boo It is worth saying that, despite the smoothness of the coat, the Circa de Boo is extremely resistant to low temperatures. The coat of the dogs is short, smooth, almost glossy and they have no undercoat. Caring for such a coat is simple, as dogs almost never shed. Cold weather resistance is due to the physiology of the dog, as well as good muscle mass with body fat. The colors of the circuit depot dogs are as follows, tiger motley color. It is a light body color, beige or almost white, along which numerous dark tiger stripes are located. They are distributed over the trunk and legs. Sometimes this color is combined with a dark mask on the face. Deer color is the most common dog color. Red hair on the back, head and tail gradually changes to a beige shade on the belly and on the inside of the legs. This color should not be confused with red, as the color gradient is clearly visible. Red fawn, red. A more intense version of the fawn color, in which the gradient is less noticeable or almost absent. The black color of the circuit de Boo is very rare. Most often, this color is combined with red or white spots, including a white mask on the face. Tiger is the rarest, not recognized by all organizations. This is not a solid body color, in which red and white spots are covered with black stripes. It is generally accepted that this color came from the Staffordshire Terriers. The standard permits white spots on the feet, muzzle and chest, but these should not cover more than 30% of the total color. A black mask on the face is a frequent occurrence in the breed. 
the nature and habits of the circuit Debu. Ka Debu are distinguished by their independent character and stable psyche. Dogs of this breed are always calm and restrained, do not feel the need to constantly communicate with people and receive commands from them. At the same time, the circuit Debu are infinitely loyal to their master, they love to watch his actions and just be around. The dog is always attentive to what the owner is doing, therefore these dogs remember many of the habits and constant activities of people. Ka Debu like to sleep a lot in generally passive time. But such relaxation is deceiving, at any moment the dog is ready to jump up as soon as it senses an approaching danger. Ka Debu are extremely distrustful of the people around them, they have an increased sense of territorial security. Therefore, these dogs are good guards and even bodyguards. These dogs are not suitable for every owner, but only for those people who have experience in dog training. Ka Debu love to dominate people, they try to establish their own rules of communication. They need a strong hand that they will gladly obey. Otherwise, the dog will become uncontrollable and dangerous. Despite their impressive appearance, circuit Debu get along well with children. They not only tolerate them, but, on the contrary, love to play with them, look after them, that is, they literally perform the function of a nanny. It is absolutely safe to leave children with the circuit Debu because the dog will not offend or give offense. The owners of the circuit Debu celebrate the intelligence and discernment of these animals. They lend themselves well to training, but are ready to carry out commands only when necessary. These are thinking dogs who are not ready to blindly obey people. Interesting facts about the Circa de Boo. Ka de Baus look like strong and powerful dogs. Despite this, they have some interesting features that stand out from the image of the fighting breed. These dogs are very balanced and calm. They rarely bark and are hard to piss off. The Circa de Boo is a good example of a stable psyche in dogs. External indifference and calmness are often deceiving. These dogs are always ready to defend the territory or their owners as soon as a threat appears. Devotion and loyalty to the family is another hallmark of the Circa de Boo. These dogs were entrusted with the life of a matador in the Spanish bullfight. The animal entered into a fight with a bull, and the breed was considered the best for this job. The Circa de Boo staged spectacular performances for the audience. In extreme situations, in fights with a bull, when a person was in danger, the Ka de Boo rushed to help, firmly biting into the bull's throat. Powerful jaws were perfect for a stranglehold. Ka de Boo literally means bulldog. Ka Debu have a tendency to dominate. This will manifest itself with both humans and animals. Therefore, these dogs need a steady hand. These dogs are patient and moderately friendly. They will not just rush into the attack, react aggressively to other people and animals. Although the circuit Debu love to lie, they also do not mind running and playing. The favorite game of these dogs is frisbee. This is where they use their powerful hind legs in a high jump. Pros and cons of Circa Debu. Ka Debu are good dogs for those who wish to have a guard and a devoted friend. Among the advantages of this breed are the following, they are excellent watchmen, they have a well-developed territorial instinct. They understand what objects and from whom they are protecting. The dog is not aggressive and obedient, they can be walked without a leash, but, according to the law, in a muzzle. Ka Debu do not have one master, they will obey each family member equally. Some similar breeds of dogs single out for themselves one leader, and the rest are considered equal to themselves. The psyche of the Circa Debu is stable, it is difficult for them to lose their temper. These dogs have excellent robust health and high endurance, they are unpretentious in food and care, they almost do not shed, they do not drool, and there is almost no characteristic canine smell. It is worth remembering that the Circa Debu breed is not for novice breeders. They have a number of significant disadvantages that should be considered when purchasing this dog. Ka Debu love to dominate. The owner must constantly keep the dog in a subordinate position, not allowing it to be in charge. There should be no indulgences, the person must have authority, and sometimes the methods of training these dogs are quite harsh. Buying a circuit de boo puppy is difficult in some countries. It is even more difficult to buy a dog that will meet the standard 100%. Caring for the circuit de boo. The circuit de boo does not require serious maintenance. First of all, it is worth purchasing a furminator brush with which you can comb out the dog's dense coat. It is enough to scratch it once a week because the breed hardly sheds. During the shedding period, when a little more wool flows, it is worth combing once a day, this will avoid lumps and discomfort. Ka Debu has almost no characteristic canine scent. However, if you bathe your dog too often, then it, on the contrary, will appear. Therefore, bath procedures for the breed can be arranged only if necessary, if the dog gets dirty during a walk. The shampoo should be specialized for short-haired dogs. In all other situations, it is sufficient to wipe the dog's paws with a damp towel. 
The circuit de buoyers need to be examined every day of the day, gently wipe them with a damp cotton swab. This will help avoid unpleasant diseases and contamination that can seriously harm your dog. In addition, you need to wipe your eyes from dirt once a week. Ka de bu has such a physiological feature as undershot jaw. This means that there is a high risk of calculus formation on the teeth. The mouth should be examined once a week, and the dog should be given special dental products. In general, artificial bones and dry food do this task well. The claws of the breed grow slowly, but we must not forget to cut them in a timely manner once a month. It is customary to walk with the dog two or three times a day. Walks should be long and intense. As with other dog breeds, the Circa de Boo can be fed with both prepared foods and homemade food. When choosing food in the store, it is important to give preference to premium food. Only high-quality food will allow a dog to be healthy and active throughout its life. The best option would be to consult with a breeder from whom you took the puppy and already based on his recommendations in the choice of food. The home-fed option requires a balance of protein, fat, and carbohydrate and ongoing vitamin supplementation. Most of this dog's diet is meat, which makes up two-thirds of every serving. You should give preference to lean veal, chicken, turkey, rabbit. Diseases and health problems. As a rule, the circuit de Boo are in good health and do not suffer from genetic diseases. So that the dog does not get sick with anything, you need to carefully monitor his health. The dog should walk a lot, move around and eat right. The state of the dog is always visible in its mood. If it is active and attentive, then everything is in order with it. Lethargy, unwillingness to walk, delayed reaction are clear signs of illness. The main diseases that circuit de Boo are exposed to, digestive sensitivity can be caused by improper feed selection or unbalanced nutrition. She is diagnosed by a veterinarian, but the first signs are digestive disorders. Usually changing feed and vitamin balance will solve this problem. Allergy to certain foods. Most often occurs on fruits, dairy products or eggs. It can only be revealed through observation. Allergy symptoms vary and are usually diagnosed by a veterinarian. Eliminating the food from the diet eliminates this problem. Elbow and hip dysplasia is a problem predominantly faced by large dogs. This is a leg disease caused by too much weight that puts pressure on the musculoskeletal system. It is solved by surgical intervention and timely diagnosis, diseases of the eyes and ears, such as, for example, otitis media. Therefore, it is important to regularly examine your dog's eyes and ears. The lifespan of a healthy dog reaches 14 years. With proper nutrition and lifestyle, a dog may never get sick at all. Ka de Boo. The price and how to buy it correctly. Choosing a circuit de Boo puppy should start with finding a kennel. It is better to opt for breeders who specialize exclusively in this breed. The kennel must have a licensed confirmation, as well as all documents certifying the purebred dogs. The puppy should be between one and a half to two months old. A small bump is felt on the head of small circuit de Boo, and the larger it is, the larger the dog will be when it grows up. The coat of the puppies is smooth and does not have bold patches, the eyes and ears are free of discharge, the tail has no deformations and creases. Healthy circuit de Boo puppies are not aggressive, brave, or cowardly. They will be the first to run to get to know people, try to play with them. Check all of the puppies' paperwork, including the necessary certificates and vaccinations. Males are a little more active than females, but they should not show any aggression. The cost of the circuit de Boo is different. As a rule, these are expensive dogs, which cost about 800 US dollars on average. Metis of this breed is much cheaper, in the range of 100 to 300 US dollars. The Ka de Boo is an ancient dog breed that needs to be approached. They value strong people who can become a real authority for them. Having raised a dog of this breed, you acquire a reliable and strong friend who will protect the family.